It goes without saying, sunrise and sunsets are the most beautiful times of the day. The colors in the sky are so vibrant, it's an absolute joy for photographers and cinematographers alike. It's not a surprise that they only last for a few minutes. But imagine a world where it's always either a sunrise or a sunset. It's not a wild dream, it's actually possible. Let us show you how. A sunrise occurs when our planet revolves around its axis to reveal the relatively stationary sun, giving us the appearance that the sun is rising from the horizon. The most vibrant times of a sunrise and sunset are when the sun is closest to the horizon. The further the sun moves away from the horizon, the less vibrant the colors become. Why this happens is a topic of a new video on its own. So technically, if we somehow manage to find a viewpoint that holds the sun at a fixed position near the horizon, we have an unending sunset, or a sunrise, with all of its vibrant colors. And to achieve this, that viewpoint has to be moving fast, and I mean crazy fast. Assuming the viewpoint is at the equator, you've got to be moving around 1700 kilometers per hour on the ground to keep the sun always on the horizon. It's almost four times faster than the land speed record. You need to travel so fast because that's how fast the Earth revolves around at the equator, and by matching its speed, you make sure you keep the sun at a fixed position. It's like jogging on a treadmill. You need to jog at exactly the same speed the belt spins and exactly the opposite direction to its spin to keep yourself steady on the treadmill. Any faster or slower, and you might trip. This speed is only valid at the equator. You need to travel slower as you move close to the poles. If your viewpoint is at London, instead of at the equator, you will only be required to travel at around 1050 km per hour, which is still insanely fast. You should now be thinking that it should be easier to take a plane and fly around at that speed, right? Wrong! The problem is, the speed you need to travel increases as you go higher up, and the only way to travel at such speeds is to fly in one of those cool military fighter jets. But then you won't be able to relax, enjoy your cold beer while experiencing an endless sunset on a jet. If you are sick of zipping at high speeds or tired of collecting those air miles from long flight hours, then just hop on a spaceship, go into hibernation, and wake up on Kepler-1647b. That's the exoplanet scientists discovered which is similar to Tatooine from Star Wars, with two suns. Yeah, you heard it right. Two suns, a binary star system which means twice the sun rises, twice the sun sets, and twice the joy. Keep exploring. You know, we might all have chased the sun when flying westward during the early or late hours of the day. Let us know in the comments below what kind of sun chasing you have done. We'd be thrilled to read your stories. Subscribe to our channel for more stuff like this. Consider supporting us on Patreon, it means a lot to us. We've actually invested a lot recently to bring you more videos, more frequently, and a much better quality. We promise you, this is just the sunrise, and the future looks really bright. Don't forget to like and share this video, and we'll see you in the next one.